Hello everyone, this is Beautiful Yoshi, and we're back with more Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we kind of went all over town looking for brains, but no can do. So in this episode, we're going to go back and talk to Trode, and in between the last video, I was kind of just had my rear end for a second, and kind of turned to night. So, I wonder if things are much different in that case. It looks like the bar, gar, bar girl is up and running again. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Trode. Here we go, cutscene. <sighs> it never used to be this difficult to get a drink. Hey, that's what you said. That's what you said last time. Another thing that wretched Dolmagus is responsible for. Yeah, we're for word. him and confound this curse. Uh, it's the deer who's button. really suffering. Turned into a horse just when she was betrothed to be married. Hmm. No, oh, you're back already. That was unduly expedient of you. So it took us a full day to do that. Magus is? Oh, sorry, man. No. What was that? I thought I heard Medea. What? Well, what? Hey, give us back our horse slash princess. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Medea. Oh. Where's Medea? She's gone. Ooh, shucks. Uh oh. Guess I should have known better. <laughs> Jeez, People Angus. Around here don't care where you come from. They care about what you come with. He's. I don't know why, but suddenly he sounds. His voice sounds sounds different. Like it almost sounds like familiar. Sorry. Are you saying <laughs> Ninny Hammercrook from this slum has kidnapped my daughter? Uh, a kidnapped princess? I've uh, never heard of that one before. Keep your hair on, Grandad. Whoever it was, can't have gone far. They'll still be in town somewhere. Okay. Well, we must find them, men. Forget everything else. Getting Medea back is all that matters. Yeah, I'm kind of on trouble on this one. Well, what are you waiting for? You heard me, didn't you? We must find the culprit immediately and save my precious daughter. Okay, yeah, I'm doing a curse isn't going to do much if Medea's lost and... Oh, he's following us, okay. Okay, so they obviously didn't go up any stairs. That would have been a pain. With a horse. Excuse me, with a horse. Um... Actually, let's ask our party members, because I really don't have anywhere to, any idea where to check first. Jessica, you seem to be one of the smartest ones in the bunch. It's not stealing, it's kidnapping. And why? What if it was still... Why would he... Well, why would he bother? Hmm. We could leave this... A uh, navy. <laughs> okay. And we stay too long. How about you, Yangus? I'm way with pension. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, very funny. Okay. Um. Seriously, though. Well, if it was a horse... Uh, did I... Oh, darn it. Wait a minute, maybe this stores? Nope, still locked, okay. From the inside. Okay. Why would they take him to a pup? And that goes up, like I said. That wouldn't make much sense if they took him to the roofs. Um. No, we wouldn't take it towards the church. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm playing this like a puzzle, and I'm probably, it's probably not that. But it's probably not that complicated. Probably just need to look around. Uh, well, let's... Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. That, that was weird. Wait, what am I... Well... Okay. Wait, did I already check these? Oh, obviously not. Okay, um... Okay, these are just, the, like, the doors to the shops. What the devil? Have you seen that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm wasting time here. Ah, uh, what the? <sighs> okay. Um, maybe just try leaving town. I mean, if I was a horse thief, that's the first thing I would do. But, um, hmm. Wait, what, what am I doing? They wouldn't go up a ladder. 
actually. This may not be the right time, but I am kind of curious to see what's up there. Thankfully, this isn't a timed event. Oh, well, maybe this guard has some information. Does anyone come past here? I don't know, I'm afraid. I was busy watching things from outside. Okay. Well, that was actually not completely a waste of our time, so Medea is definitely in town. I was about to save the horse. Well, that wasn't very gentlemanly of me. She's a lady. I didn't respect her as such. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Well, yeah, just try checking all the doors, I guess. Oh, well, my luck is she's probably in a back alley. I just didn't think to look in. Um, I didn't see what was ahead of me there. The camera was just turning. 998, 999, 990. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, a grand, sweet. He sounds like it sounds like someone from The Simpsons. He knows his stuff, that old merchant. He can see yeah, it kind of sounds like Barney. Worth. Half inch in that horse is a piece of cake. Easy dodge, Mitch, eh? Easy dodge. <laughs> Man, he sure... He sold the Medea? He did that rather quickly. We weren't that far off behind him. Behind him. Hey? Who? Who's that? Oh, no! You ain't the owner of that horse, is ya? In a matter of speaking, so, I guess. It was you! You're the scoundrel responsible... Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. Get that monster away from me! What's it on about? What princess? I only knocked off a horse! Who are you calling a monster? Give my Medea back right now, or suffer the consequences! Mm. Hey, easy! Take it easy, I swear! <laughs> I didn't know! I didn't know it was no monster princess or nothing! Yeah, have it all. This is all the dough I've got for it. I swear. That's... <laughs> Don't hurt me. What? Jeez. You sold my daughter. That's it. Slay <laughs> this worthless wastrel. Uh, no. I don't think that's gonna solve anything, man. Oh, your horse's granddad. Sorry, I mean take it easy. This tow rag ain't good enough <laughs> for the. Oh, I get it. Jeez. All right, you. Let's hear it. Sell it down Beggar's Alley, did ya? To old Dodgy Dave, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that's it. Know him, do ya? I wonder if Dodgy Dave's the one with all those wanted posters with the 500 gold around. Right then. And over the dough. If I find out you've been telling me porkies, you're brown bread. Do you hear? You've been telling me porkies? What? Oh, look, I ain't been lying, mister. I swear. Here, a thousand gold pieces. That's what he give me for it. Okay. No need to worry. The black market geezer he was talking about hmm. is a mate of mine. Kind of figure. He'll give okay. us back the horse princess if we give him back the dough. I mean money. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. We know what you meant. Then why are we dallying around here? We must go to this geezer's shop immediately. <laughs> I love the I love his accent. Geezer is. Okay. Uh, okay. Seriously, no enough goofing around. A bunny tail. Uh. Okay. A clump of rennet powder. Yeah. Sorry, Trod. Yeah, we're really we're really in a hurry here. I know. Okay, I'm, I just gotta check that out. A bunny tail. Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, well... Maybe we'll use that, maybe not. It might be good for an alchemy, though. Probably, I was just up saying that. Probably pretty much every item in the game is used for one alchemy recipe or another. But, uh... Wait a minute. Well, I should ask Yangus where this guy's shop is. I used to have some funny in it. Never thought you'd be going, dude. <laughs> you could at least say where it is on the map. Come on, you're better than this man. Dodgy Dave. Where's? Well, these are the regular shops. Uh, 
Yang kiss, you're worthless. No, I'm just kidding, you're cool, dude. But seriously, though, I don't know, I don't really know where to go. Well, we know where Brains is. What, did I get, get really lucky? Uh... Yeah, okay, why did you... What the devil? Sorry, I didn't mean to... Goldings? Who's Golding? But those men at the casino could turn up and... Pay the money back. What? Huh, okay, fair enough. I didn't mean to disturb you fine folks. I gotta see the life, okay. See to life. Let's. I don't know. I gave one to Jessica, one to Angelo. So why don't we give one to Angus? Because I think I already gave one to Yoshi earlier. Eh, okay. As long as it doesn't max out prematurely, I kind of doubt it will. But yeah. Okay. It's dodgy Dan. Eh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's just look around, I guess. Sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. That's the one. This is like the worst possible time to be doing a blind let's play during a video game, where you're just supposed to like search a town. Because normally it's not bad, but now I just, I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly. I don't really know what to talk about. Oops, that has the item shop. Darn it. I don't think Dodgy Dan's running the item shop. I do kind of want to see what's in those book cases, so... Oh, okay. Sorry, just those glass files were just kind of bright and shiny and <laughs> ruining my attention deficit disorder. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I, I don't, and I shouldn't put uh put, it, put that down to anybody who really has that, but... Okay, seriously, though. Okay, what's behind door number 3000 or whatever? Well, uh... This is a weird town. Oh, yeah, this bed just got what I need. Let's go behind. Oh, go behind the bar and the. Oops. Thank you very much, sir. We. Okay, so behind the bar. It's always the bar. Whenever you're lost in this game, always. We don't know what to do next to the plot. Always go to the bar, it seems like. Uh, makes sense, though. I mean, if there's one place. That, if you want to get information in an RP, I mean, well, any, you know, in real life, sometimes going to the bar is a good place. Huh? You want to go around? Jeez, Yoshi, why didn't you just say that earlier? Be my guest. Be our guest. Dun, 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 did I? Oh, I already, oh, yeah, already broke these barrels. Okay. Okay, dokey, smoky. Ooh, treasure chests. Wait a minute. Are you Dodgy Dave? Or Dodgin' Dave? Does your name start with a D? Well, well. If it ain't old Yangus. Ain't seen your moose around here for a while. Got some knocked off gear you want to get rid of, have ya? Nah, mate. Wash me hands of all that. I'm traveling around with the governor here now. But that's not why I'm here. That legless old runt, Mitch, was in here before selling you an awesome cart, wasn't he? It's just that we need them back. They belong to the gov here, see? Mitch only went and half inched them. <laughs> I gave him the squeeze, and he said he sold them to you. That's why we're here. You had them pinched by Mitch. You? You must be going soft, Yangus, getting stitched up by someone like him. Yeah, he was here selling the awesome cards. I gave him a good price for them. So I did have them, but... I don't know how to tell you this. It's been like 10 minutes. I sold them already. Well, actually, I'm 15 to 20 minutes, still. You what? Who to? We need them back, desperate like. Well, I don't know how to tell you this either. I sold them to Red. 
This guy was mentioned in Fortune Street 2, I think. Oh, was he? I think he was. Watch. Red, the old artful dodger herself, you're having a giraffe, aren't you? Having a giraffe? That's a new one. I didn't remember to use that. Look, it's out of my hands now. You'll have to sort it out yourself. Could you at least tell us where he lives or hides out or something? Actually, no, I think th I'm thinking of someone else, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, but. Uh, okay, now another mini metal. Uh, well, Genghis, do you know where the, who this red is? Used to be fair, but it's been back in the old days. It's funny, ain't it? I never thought I'd be going back to a shop. Again! Well, can you at least tell us where he is? You have to talk to. You you know where Red's place you are. Oh come on! Uh, no wait, was that? I don't believe it. Now Red's mixed up in all this. Wait, it's the what? last thing I want to do right now. But we're gonna have to pay her a visit. Pay her. She lives in a gaff southwest of town. Nice it's a slap bang. Well, I feel like it's sexist, but it does explain one, one of the, the notes for um the monster arena. Cause uh, okay, just let me go over that real quick. Again, since you guys probably played this game before I have, you, this you guys probably already know the answer to this. But let's see what we got here. Morris Memo 1 is the slime, which uh, it says next to a, um, a rundown castle. I'm assuming that means we need to go back to Fairbury and take the path that leading lead back to Castle Trodane and find that slime. I think that's what it is. And if we check Morris Memo number 2, we'll see that it's the Restless Armor, and that's obviously the one we already faced heading towards Mayella Abbey. And let's roam alone. Okay, and finally, this one is the Calamari Kid, who, um, yeah, Lady Band Slayer. So, yeah, we probably need to head to this Red's Place hideout. Did this, didn't we read a book saying something about a lady pirate? Now that I think about it. Okay. And I'm sorry, I was, I kind of skipped over Yingus' dialogue there. And, and we don't want anything to do with Red. I wish we didn't have to go and see her, but I suppose this ain't no time to close. You know where? Place in the middle of the lake, southwest. Okay, thank you again, Yangus. I, I'm sorry, I, I uh, um, skip past that dialogue. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm in. I can be a jerk. Okay, southwest. Um, but unfortunately, I guess we'll have to save that for the next episode. Again. Uh, yeah. It's, we're sorry. It. Actually, I kind of see it. Is that it? On the lake, you said? So, yeah. Okay, guys, well, in the next episode... <laughs> next exciting episode of Dragon Ball? No. In the next uh, part of Dragon Quest VIII, we'll head over to Red's, and we'll uh, hopefully save Medea. Okay, guys, thank you, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Peace out.